let's start with what BioBuilder isn't. Right now you can order a kit from a company and in that kit you'll get all the things you'll need to isolate DNA from strawberries or do a bacterial transformation. Those kits can be identified in a catalog and that catalog is used to teach the AP Biology curriculum to many, many high school students every year who sit down and do the labs and learn the 1,200 pages of their text. The material at BioBuilder takes a different approach. It starts with engaging animations and activities that allow students to become participants in investigations as opposed to technicians moving materials from tube to tube. The idea for BioBuilder started in 2005 with a comic strip that appeared in Nature magazine showing characters talking about adventures in synthetic biology. It was a very popular comic strip. The trouble was it was very hard for newcomers to synthetic biology to really understand the content. The material at BioBuilder takes these same characters and actually animates them and allows them to have conversations around DNA synthesis, as is being shown here, and other topics relevant to synthetic biology. Each topic is framed with a single-page bioprimer that can be found on the website. The bioprimer has hot links that link to relevant animations, and at the bottom of each primer has a link to an actual activity that students and teachers can do together. The first activity allows students to compare banana-smelling bacteria that generate their banana smell during different phases of bacterial growth. The second lab includes a mix and match of bacterial parts so students can generate a particular level of an output from those cells. The third lab uses cells that can take a photograph and recapitulates the circuitry in those cells using a CAD tool as well as electronic circuit. The fourth lab is very much like the bacterial transformation labs that students are already doing as part of their curriculum, but in this case, a single DNA program is transformed into two cell types to observe different behaviors depending on the cellular chassis. What's needed now are people who are willing to try the BioBuilder material in school settings as part of iGEM teams and as part of perhaps community colleges launching a biotech class. Once we get feedback and input from teachers and students who have tried the material, we're really hopeful that the BioBuilder content will be widely distributed and widely useful.